<laughs> What's up peeps and poops and welcome back. So today we are going to be going over cannabis' phenotypes. We're going to get rocking and rolling, so let's go baby. Also, I got another strain of the week at the end, so check it out. Phenotypes are observable characteristics of an organism, such as its shape, color, smell, and potency. They're determined by the interaction between the organism's genetic makeup, or genotype, and the environment in which it grows. Genes are not activated simply because an organism has them, they're triggered by the environment. Also, different environments will activate or inhibit the expression of different genes. As I've discussed in some of my previous videos, cannabis is an ancient plant with roots all over the world. The earliest varieties called land race strains are considered the diamonds of cannabis genetics. Our short, resin-heavy indicas populated latitudes between 30 to 50 degrees, whereas the tall, slow-growing sativas naturally homestead in the equatorial regions around 30 degrees latitude. These diverse habitats conditioned a colorful array of cannabis varieties, each with its own long-standing history. We start to see a major turn of the breeding of cannabis between the 70s and the 80s. When federal anti-cannabis sentiments peaked driving the cultivation from the great outdoors to underground, and indoor gardens raised by soil, electric lights, and hydroponic systems produce a bulk of the cannabis that's seen in the market today. While there's little doubt that masterfully grown strains have been cultivated indoors, experts will agree that the genetic, unnatural environment can only bring out so much of the plant's potential. One way we classify cannabis phenotypes is by using the three main categories, which of course are indica, sativa, and hybrid. Indica strains tend to be shorter, bushier plants with wide leaves and a heavy relaxing effect. Sativa strains, on the other hand, tend to be taller with thinner leaves and produce a more uplifting energetic high. Hybrid strains are a mix of both indica and sativa genetics and can have a range of effects depending on their dominant traits. However, these categories are not always accurate or consistent. For example, Blue Dream is a popular hybrid strain that can have different phenotypes depending on how it's grown and who grows it. Some phenotypes may lean towards the indica side, while others may lean towards the sativa side. Some may have a spear-shaped flower structure, while others have a chunky bulb of crystal trichomes. Some may have a sweet berry aroma, while others have a piney citrus scent. This variability is why some growers engage in what is called pheno hunting. Pheno hunting is a process of growing multiple seeds of a strain and selecting one of the phenotypes that is the best in terms of yield, potency, color, flavor, bud density, and other valued features. Clones can then be made of that phenotype for mass production. Jumping in the middle of the video as always to ask you guys to please like, subscribe, if you ring that bell, you'll get notified. You can buy me some coffee also, I'm always falling asleep, or you can hit up my Patreon. You can even sign up for like the $1 membership, help keep all the lights on around here. And you will also be getting the audio of the videos, uh, minus this middle segment, the intro and outro. So uh, you'll just be able to listen to straight facts, baby. All right, so let's keep going back to cannabis. Pheno hunting can be a rewarding and exciting experience for cannabis enthusiasts who want to discover new and unique expressions of their favorite strains. However, it can be challenging and time-consuming. It requires careful observation and documentation of each plant's growth cycle and characteristics. It also requires testing and sampling of each plant's final product to determine its quality and effects. Phenotypes are not only important for growers and consumers, they're also important for researchers and medical professionals who want to understand how cannabis affects a human body and mind. Phenotypes may have different levels and ratios of cannabinoids and terpenes the compounds that give cannabis its medicinal and recreational properties. For example, some phenotypes may have higher levels of THC, tetrahydrocannabinol, while others may have higher levels of CBD, cannabidiol. Some phenotypes may have more myrcene, the terpene that gives cannabis its earthy aroma, while others may have more limonene, the terpene that gives cannabis its citrus flavor. By studying how different phenotypes affect different people in different ways, researchers and medical professionals can better tailor cannabis treatments for various conditions and symptoms. They can also identify new potential benefits and risk of cannabis use for different populations and purposes. So in a nutshell, 
Phenotypes are the physical expression of a cannabis plant's genetic blueprint. When a female cannabis plant produces seeds, each seed is a phenotype that expresses a unique set of traits from the mother and father plants. And they occur as a result of the interaction of the plant's genetic blueprint and the environment in which it's grown. And remember that everything from color, shape, smell, and resin production are affected by the environment. Phenotypes are important for growers, consumers, researchers, and medical professionals who want to explore the diversity and the potential of cannabis. By pheno hunting, testing, and sampling different phenotypes, they can find the best expression of physical characteristics, effects, and benefits for their needs and preferences. And I'm bringing you all this information just so that you know not all cultivator strains are the same. And while they may have the same name and come from the same seeds, they may have completely different phenotypes and effects. And since we're getting specific, I would like to recommend Cherry Pie by Good Day Farms. It is extremely great for pain, anxiety, and sleep disorders. This being said, it definitely falls on the indica side. And it tastes so freaking good. Go grab it. Tell them Hyde sent you. So I hope that that helps you guys understand phenotypes just a little bit better. In future episodes, we'll be going over it a little bit deeper. And I want to just say thank you to each and every one of you who are subscribed and who watch the videos. Um, please always like, share, help us spread this. I love you guys. And until next time, deuces.